Now, um, <clears throat> this is super important. If you have a MacBook or an iMac or any type of Mac, um, you're going to want to make sure that you have um, DVD plus R dual layer burning capability. And I'm, I'm pretty sure the way you check that out is you go to, um, you click on the Apple and then click on About This Mac. And then you click on More Info. And then you're going to find wherever your um, optical drive is. So it's going to be under Hardware, I believe. And then, let's see here. Disk burning. You're going to click on disk burning and it's going to say DVD write. And if you have plus R DL like I do right there, then you are good to go. So that means that your drive is capable of burning DVD plus R dual layer discs, which is required um, for burning Xbox 360 games because they are so large and they require a large disc. Um, the type of discs you're going to want is also super important. If you have a Mac, the only type, the only brand of DVD plus R dual layer discs they will burn are the brand Verbatim. And I'm going to show you a picture of them right now. This is what it looks like. Verbatim 2.4x DVD plus R DL. That's exactly what you want. It doesn't matter how many are in it, of course. You can buy 20, 30, whatever. But you want Verbatim DVD plus R dual layer discs. I don't care if some other brand is cheaper, you want verbatim. Because if you don't get verbatim, it's not going to work. And I made this mistake. I got Memrex. doesn't work. So make sure you get those kind. Alright. So now, um, once you're done um, with the HBGX 360 ISO, whatever, um, you're going to open up X360 ISO Hacker again. You're just going to wait for that to load, and you're going to press OK. Then you're going to go to the Burn tab. And you're going to find wherever your game is. It's going to be in the exact same place. It's not like it moves it to a different place. God, and then the .iso file. And you click open. Now you're going to hit start burn. And then it might patch it again. Now you want to insert your verbatim DVD plus R dual layer disc to your, into your drive. So You just wait for that um, disc to get recognized. And once it gets recognized, we can show you what to do. Alright, when you open up, when you click burn, it's probably going to look something like this. You're going to want to click the down arrow to show advanced options. Alright, now it says ready to burn. Now you want to set your speed to 2.4x because that's the speed of your disk that you're going to get. If you set it to 4, it might work, but it might not. But if you set it to 2.4x, it will go slower, but it'll ensure that it works. So um, once that's all good to go, you're going to hit burn. Now I'm not going to hit burn because I already have a copy of this and these disks are pretty expensive. Um, I bought a pack of 20 for um, $25 on Amazon. So they're not super expensive, but they are one of them dollar discs, so I'm not going to waste a copy. But um, once that's all looks good like that, you're just going to hit burn, and then it's going to take anywhere from um, an hour to two hours. It does take quite a while. Um, at the end, when it ejects, ejects your disc, it's going to say one of two things. It's either going to say um, com um, burn complete, successful, or whatever, or it's going to say burn failed. Now, if it says burn failed, don't don't get your panties in a wad. That doesn't mean it's not going to work. Now I got um I got I uh, made this mistake. I it said bur I burned a copy of Madden. I burned like three copies because each time it said burn fail, burn fail, burn fail. So um after like three copies, I was like, you know, I'm just going to see if this works. And I inserted the failed disc um into the Xbox 360 and it worked. So just because it says burn fail doesn't mean it's um not going to work in your Xbox 360. So if it does say burn fail, check it out and see if it works first before you burn another copy. But um, that's um, basically it on how to burn, where and where to get your games, and then how to burn them. Um, again, be sure to check out my other video on how to unrar um, those files and um, another my other videos on how to um, flash whatever type of Xbox 360 drive you have. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to. 
comment or uh, shoot me a message and I'll be sure to respond to that. Um, again, thanks for watching.